five things you should never say in an interview. Now, here, as medical doctors here in Malaysia, most of us are never prepped for a real job interview. And that being said, we always end up going into a job interview in the private sector or non clinical industry very, very underprepared. So here we at Avedic Secrets are going to help you through that. So make sure you watch this video to the end so that you know one of the five things you should never say in an interview. Hi, I'm Dr. Selina, the founder of Medic Footprints Malaysia. We're a type by doctors for doctors. It's a community platform that is committed to the creative success of doctors. We connect doctors to both clinical and non-clinical careers. Now, go to our website, check out www.medicalprints.com.my and get access to all the resources we have for doctors to succeed in their careers. Join the tribe and get the latest updates on all our upcoming workshops and programs. But while you're there, be sure to get your premium membership where you get access to some of our online courses for free and get massive discounts on all our upcoming workshops and events. Before we start, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Firstly, avoid talking negatively about your previous company or job. Now, I understand this can be quite challenging as some of you are leaving the I mean, a difficult work uh, environment and moving to greener pastures. But this can be a great flag for your potential employers who they will see an employee as possibly bad mouthing them as well in the future. Now, what can be done instead is focusing on a narrative of moving on or valuing your time in your previous role or in your current role, but finding the benefit of exploring further. Now, this will give your employer a perception that you are able to navigate through a difficult situation and are focusing on improving yourself. Employers would have expected you to come in for an interview with some knowledge of the job and what it entails and some knowledge about the company. Let me tell you an experience of mine. We had a candidate that came in for an interview with us. Um, she couldn't pronounce medical prince. She called us medical prince. Needless to say, uh, I did hire her. So before you go for an interview, make sure to do some research about the company, about the role, um, what is expected of you. Of course, the employees, the employees will explain uh, more in that what is expected of you and the role. But you need to come in with some knowledge. If you come in asking, oh, what job is this? Uh, what company is this? What do you guys do? That is a red flag and they are not going to call you back. By the way, for those of you doctors who are thinking of switching careers, uh, on the fence whether it's continuing a clinical medicine or move out to non-clinical medicine or doctors who are certain that they want to move out of clinical medicine be sure to check out our upcoming workshop Switching Careers for Doctors How do I know what's right for me? In this workshop, we will teach you all the tools you need to make that decision for you The link is in the description below Interviews usually uh, if there's an expectation of an answer or a response to a question but of course, there are times when we are stumped by a question that we can't answer. But never say, I don't know or I can't answer that because I don't know. Um, but you can give a few iterations or tell something from your past experience to answer that question. Or if it, it could be a difficult behavioral question, for instance, when they ask you, when have you successfully handled a difficult patient? Generally, say, I've never handled a difficult patient, so I do not know. But perhaps you can uh, say something like this. Uh, to how you uh, saw a clique of yours handle a difficult situation and how you can apply what you learn from that, what you observe, and how you can apply to a situation like that in the future. Never ever reply in any iteration of it's on my resume when the interviewer asks about your past experience and skills because this might portray some sort of belligerence towards the interviewer. Because it is irrelevant whether the interviewer has read your CD or resume in detail. It is down to you and the onus is on you as an applicant to talk to your interviewer through your CV or resume. Before you go into the interview, be sure to update all your resume and CVs and be prepared to elaborate on any point in your CV or resume. There will be a point in time during the interview where the interviewer will ask you if you have any questions. Now always, always have questions prepared. Never end an interview with I have no questions at all. So uh, this will show that you are inquisitive, you're motivated, you have drive and you want to learn and that's what an interviewer looks out for. If you're an interviewer, 
Uh, let us know in the comment section below what are the types of answers you could have from interviewees that you should never hear. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment and share. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, watch all our other videos for doctors who are looking for careers outside of clinical medicine. Um, be sure to check out our website where we have resources for all the doctors who want to succeed in their careers. Uh, we also have all our upcoming workshops and events on our work website and also check out all the job availabilities on our website. We have an online career mentorship program for doctors who are seeking to transition out of clinical medicine and this entire module is free for our premium members so be sure to get your premium membership on our website. Now be sure to join our MFF community Discord channel and speak to your fellow peers. Links to everything we've mentioned is in the description below.